hey, I just wanted to sit down and talk to you about depression and suicidal thoughts. About maybe a week plus ago, the news of Kate Spade's suicide, you know, was all over the internet. People were sad and everyone started talking about how depression or suicidal thoughts do not discriminate between um, social statuses. People like Kate Spade is so up there, she's so creative, she's doing what she loves, but she still, you know, couldn't deal with it and took her own life. And then, you know, not too long after that, just a few days ago, um, Anthony Bourdain, he committed suicide too from someone who is so up there, who has achieved so much in his life, um, who has inspired so much. He too couldn't fight that, that inner demon that he's dealing with and he also took his own life. And what does that mean to people like me who, who has depression and was suicidal? Um, you know, I just wanted to share with you what I think about all of this and I know I think it's also just to also open up and be transparent with you about how I've been dealing with my depression after so long. Um, the truth is, I like after posting my last SSR video, I remember saying that I, I felt like I'm ready to get off the medication because I am doing so so much better than where I was a year ago, which is true. But the past month or so, maybe past few weeks, has been a little bit extra tough. Tough. Um, and I think it's because like I watched 13 Reasons Why season 2. It's not like a trigger, but I think it's just because I felt so relatable to the, the characters in the series. It hurt me a lot. Um, and also like the news of these two celebrities and I think it's just a lot of things were going through my mind. I was also physically sick. I, was, I had a fever a few days ago and the medication just kind of like messed up my, my physical, I don't know, like I just felt very uncomfortable and you know, how, how, how it affects how I feel. So like a lot of things has been going on and I realized that, you know, that depression side of me is still within me, but I, I've just been dealing with it really well to the point that it's been suppressed. But once it's it's released, it's still there. It's not it's not soft yet. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna go off my medication that soon. But I thought I should just update you guys about it because I think I I've been I've been doing pretty well. Like just looking at my vlogs in the previous weeks, like I've been I've been having an okay life, decent life, but at the back, I'm still struggling a little bit. Just want to let you guys know. And so watching the news or like reading the news about Kate Spade and Anthony Bourdain, it's just, it's scary. I think for me, it's, it's scary because like knowing who they are, knowing what they've achieved in life, um, knowing their ages, they're 50, 54 and 61 I guess um, I'm sure I'm sure they are both really tough people who try to deal with their mental illness I'm sure they've tried to seek treatment I don't know them that well but I know I know that they've tried and to know that even after so much after everything they still chose to took their own life. That's scary. Right now I'm 25. I've been dealing with depression for like only four years. And I feel slightly better. So what does that mean to me? Like it's gonna get worse in the future? Like how bad is it gonna be? 
it's is it always going to be this bad? I think there's just a lot of questions at the back of my head. I'm happy for both of them that they have found the peace of mind that they wanted, that they're no longer struggling. But I think I'm just worrying and afraid of myself and those who are still struggling. So I think it's just what does that leave us? Um, it's really hard to describe this feeling, but there's just been a lot of fear. I broke down crying to my boyfriend last night sobbing, shaking because because I was so afraid that it's gonna be so much worse in the future that I can't take it and because I just got into a relationship I I felt like it's unfair for him like he shouldn't be dealing with this and it's hard for me to share this part of me with him because like I love him so much how how do I how could I even like hurt him because I know it will it will hurt him so like there's a lot of questions in it and like I, I bawled my eyes crying yesterday so badly that um, I had to spend an hour on my makeup this morning just to cover up the swollen eyes. It's actually way much better now already, but it was like so puffy. And yeah, like my, I can still get about my daily life pretty well. I can still go out and talk to my friends, get stuff done. But at the back of my head, when I'm alone, when I'm quiet, I still think about this. And I guess that's just what it is. And I'm glad that I'm opening up to talk about it. Um, that's what I'm gonna keep trying to do is just to be really honest with how I feel. And hopefully, eventually I'll be, I'll be able to like find a way to find my answer to all this fear and questions. So yeah. That's that's pretty much my thought. Um, I think it's a little bit all over the place, but I just wanted to be honest with you about how I've been dealing with everything. And I hope you are doing okay. Okay, I'll see you in my vlog next week. Hopefully it's something more fun. And... Bye-bye.